News for Tucson Sports Director Paul Sakala has been hustling up and down those fairways this afternoon following the leaders. And Paul joining us right now from the Omni Tucson National with more. And Paul, some familiar names lurking this afternoon on that leaderboard. Hey there. Hey, how's it going, Eric? We'll get to that leaderboard a little bit later in sports, but for now in our news segment, let's go ahead and concentrate on some of the contributions from the Tucson Conquistadores. They are, of course, the charity that hosts this tournament, and through the Conquistadores, they are raising tens of thousands of dollars for local nonprofits here in the Tucson area. In addition, through the Cologuard Classic, through Cologuard itself, they are also raising awareness to fighting colon cancer. But hey, back to the Conquistadores. Not only are they great hosts here at the Cologuard Classic, they also host a very interesting tent that is affectionately called Bucky's. How about that, huh? Bucky Lovejoy holds up a picture that dates back over 30 years from his early days with the charity Tucson Conquistadores. The picture was from 1991 up at Star Pass. I think it was the Northern Telecom. That's the year Mickelson won as an amateur. And now that the Golf Classic is held at the Omni Tucson National, there's a special section run by Bucky himself for all of the conquistadores, friends, family, law enforcement, and many others. Well, my dad was one of the original founding members, so it's kind of inbred in me to be a conquistador and to do what's necessary. And the fact that we raise this money for amateur athletics here in Southern Arizona is great. And to be involved with the community, to do more and more is what it's all, it's all about the kids. The kids benefiting from charity, raised through the tournament itself, or in this case, donation drop-offs, like this. All at Bucky's, definitely a great place to meet with a welcoming environment of so many movers, shakers, and people who care about the community, hungry to help Southern Arizona. And of course, it's also a tradition at Bucky's every single year after the winner gets that golden trophy, that golden conquistadores helmet. They walk right over to Bucky's and they end up having a toast with all of the Tucson conquistadores every single year. And get this, the conquistadores, they go out of their way to make sure that they find the drink of the winner's choice. And hey, these are PGA great, so sometimes those drinks can get quite expensive. Our coverage from here at the Kolagar Classic is far from over with. Coming up a little bit later in sports, we will continue our in-depth coverage. I'll catch up with former University of Arizona champion and Wildcat Jim Furick, who didn't have such a good day today. Also, I caught up with Heisman Trophy winner Reggie Bush, who is here also for the fans to help raise money for charity. We'll check all that out a little bit later in sports. Reporting live from the Cola Guard Classic here on the north side, hosted by the Tucson Conquistadores, I'm Paul Sicala, News 4, Tucson. Paul, thank you so much. We'll see you just a little later in sports. Turning to 